Today I'm going to show you how to use your Clever Touch board and kind of go through a Clever Touch 101. The first thing you need to know about Clever Touch is that it runs through Android and it's kind of like a giant tablet. It doesn't necessarily work like a computer, it works more like a tablet where you have your apps and your different programs that you open to run what you're doing. You can still download files and downloads and things like that, um, but just keep that in mind as you're working with it and that might make things a little simpler. You have two pens on your Clever Touch board. They can stick in the front here or the back is magnetic and you can put them there so kids can't reach them as easily if you need to. Um, you have USB ports. One has the um, connector for your keyboard. The other one you could use for a document camera. And then there's an app you can use to just project your document camera right on the screen when it's connected here. There is um, a power button that doesn't actually turn off the board. It just um, puts in like sleep mode. If the board senses motion around it, it'll turn back on. If you click on the up arrow on the bottom of the screen, you have your different inputs on the right. If you're looking at the board on the right side on the back, there are different HDMI ports or more USB ports if you need them. Those would connect to here. Um, so if you do want to plug in your computer through HDMI, you would select whichever port you put it in there. From this menu, you can also adjust the volume or the brightness of the screen. Okay, your next menu is going to be kind of your toolbar. If you click on either the left side from the home page or the right side from the home page, you'll get the same menu. From here, you can go to your whiteboard, which will take you right to the links version of the whiteboard. Um, we set that up so that it defaults to links. You can access files that you have stored on here. And again, it doesn't connect to your computer files, so keep that in mind. It's files that you've downloaded right to the board. Um, your browser should automatically connect to Chrome. A Clever Store is like the Google Play or App Store um, where you can download apps. If you click the Active button, it'll show you apps that you've had open. Just like on your um, phone or tablet, it's important to once in a while close these out so that um, the system isn't too overworked. So if you open up your active apps, you can just hit the X to close them. Um, you can lock your board. And then if you don't want somebody to see what's on the screen for whatever reason, and you would just click it to unlock it. There's not necessarily a password. Um, and then you have all of your apps from here. And you can also store favorites. So if there's an app you know you'll use a lot, you can store it as a favorite. I put the um, Document, Camera Visualizer, Chrome, Links, Record, and Clever Share, which we will talk about all of those later. So let's start by looking at some of our apps. Most of these will already be on your board. Um, this whiteboard is a different one. This whiteboard comes with Clever Touch, and it's kind of just a simple, easy to use whiteboard. There's not all like the gadgets and cool things that links can do, um, but this would be an option. I would suggest using only links so everything is right in the same place and you know where to find things. Um, and then I've downloaded some of these as well. If you would like to download apps, you can. Um, you would open up your menu and go to the Clever Store. The Clever Store is not super user friendly right now. They're working on making so you can just search for apps. Um, but if you click search, you're gonna see that you get categories, languages, and grade levels. Um, so you kind of wanna know what you're looking for when you go in here. Some good things to browse might be classroom essentials, math, literacy, um, maybe you want games, I don't know how you wanna do that just kind of browse through and see what there is. I am going to show you how to download an app. So if I'm gonna to try to download Khan Academy, I go to math, 
which you may notice some things that you see this board and this company is, um, I want to say an English company. So some of the language things might be a little different, um, but it won't really affect us. So if you go to Khan Academy, you would click free download. You wait for it to download and then um, you need to install it. So after you click download, you're not done. Once you're here down in the very bottom, you would click on the right side, you click install. Let it install. You can either open up the app or just click done to go back to there. And then if you go back to your home screen and look at your apps, you would see that Khan Academy is there. When you're in your apps, you can readjust them by um, pushing down and holding the app, and then you can move it around to different places. Um, another thing you could do is create folders. If I wanted to put these together, I would push down and hold and then drag it on top of another app. So I could create this folder. Let's say I want to name this one math. I could do that. So that's how you can download an app and kind of move your apps around. If I want to add a favorite, I would click on my favorites and then go to the plus sign and I can add any of these. Um, let's say I want to add the whiteboard and Wikipedia. So now I go back to my favorites and they're right there. Then last thing I want to show you in our Clever Touch 101 is how to um, right over your screen. So if you are in, let's see, Chrome, let's say I'm doing a lesson on the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay, I'm going to open this up. This is going to take me to open it through Wikipedia, which I'm fine with because it's a little more user-friendly through there. Um, and let's say I want to show my class how I would annotate this text. If you click on the pencil here, you um, in this toolbar, you can click on the pencil again, and it's going to pop up with your annotation toolbar. If I continue clicking the pencil, you'll see it changes colors. I have black, blue, green, and red are my options. Um, so. When the pencil is selected on whatever color it is, that's the color that we'll write. Um, I also have a highlighter that I have a couple different color options for. Again, just click the highlighter to change the color. The um, letter A is kind of like a text recognition that'll pull up another um, window on this window to like Google search something. So let's say I wanted to figure out what an elevated railway is. So I would type, right, elevated railway. It would recognize it. I hit the arrow and it takes me to a Google page that would have like, if I just searched elevated railway. So I can look through there and do different things through that. Um, the broom is the sweep that will sweep everything off the screen. It clears the whole screen. Um, if you do have something saved, you can or that you want to save, you can click the uh, floppy disk to save it. Um, and then there are some other settings you could play around with if you wanted to. When I am interacting with the Clever Touch in the apps, this little pencil in the dark square will always be on the screen. I can move it around so it's not in the way to put it where I want it, but this is how I'm gonna navigate through Clever Touch. So if I click the pencil, it'll take me home. I can go right to the whiteboard, or it actually will take me to links. As you can see, the pencil is still there. I can open up my active windows so I can easily go back and forth between different apps by clicking the active windows. I can write over the board, I could zoom in, I can snip out some, a piece of something that I want to save. Um, and there are some other options you can play around with, but those are probably the most important ones.
And that's kind of your Clever Touch 101. And um, in another video, we'll talk about links.